hope your day is going lovely. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, today we are going to create with the Spellbinders Large Die of the Month Club Kit. This is for February 2022, and it's called Typing Class. There is, it's, there's a lot in here, believe it or not. There is a beautiful typewriter that's layerable. And I, this, I think, would make a cute little tag because it's on the, it's on the larger side. Um... We're just going to make a card today, but I thought that would make a cute tag. Their sentiments is a birthday to say thanks, a note, and happy. So you can customize your sentiments. And then there's some beautiful florals um, and foliage in here. So let's jump in and create a card. Let's do some die cutting. I already chose some colors that I wanted to use today. I wanted some blues and teals, but for my typewriter, we're going to be using the Silver Fox cardstock. All the cardstock that I'm going to be using is um, from Spellbinders Color Essentials. And we're going to die cut out the typewriter with that neutral tone. Now, there is an outline for your typewriter keys. We're going to die cut that out with some dark blue cardstock. And then we're going to layer together um, the outline and then the keys over here with some blue cardstock. This is Cosmic Sky and then this is Raindrop. And so we'll do an out um, the backing with Cosmic Sky and then the um, the keypads itself with the lighter blue. For my florals, um, I I love the, the shape and you can mix and match. This one I caught my eye. I thought this was really fancy. I'm going to cut this out three times with my teal colored cardstock. This is Waterfall. And then I have the stem, which I think would be cute to put sway across your typewriter, but we're going to use it as a stem today. I'm going to die cut that out with some Peridot cardstock. For this flower, I'll die cut it out three times with the, the rain, um, the Waterfall cardstock. Okay, and we have some rainforest. The rainforest, I love the leaf flourish in here. We'll die cut that out twice. And then I'll also die cut out one of the, the branches with the rainforest here. We have another pretty leaf. I'm gonna die cut out three times with white cardstock. And then this flower too, I thought was really pretty. We'll die cut that out three times with white cardstock. Now we have some elements for the typewriter. These, this is actually the push bar right here um, for the bottom of the typewriter. We'll die cut this out with white cardstock and then these kind of funny looking pieces go behind the keys to give your keys a little bit of dimension. And I'm gonna die cut this out. We have two rows of keys, um, three rows of keys, I'm sorry. And then we're gonna die cut this out twice. And, oh, one more thing. We have our little push bar, or not our push bar, our slider. I'm going to die cut this out once with the Cosmic Sky and then once with our, um, our raindrop cardstock. Now, for the keys, they do have these little key pieces that you could add to your um, keyboard. I'm not going to fuss with those small pieces today. But for my sentiment, we're going to use Happy Birthday. So you have the rectangle that you can layer your sentiments in. And I'm going to die cut this out with the Cosmic Sky also. And then I'm going to actually, I have a piece of cardstock here. This measures two and three quarters inches by three and a quarter inches. I'm going to die cut out the word happy. I'm going to tape it down so it doesn't move, but with, with this little white panel. And then I'm going to die cut out birthday with the background like this with our um, raindrop cardstock. So I have a lot of die cutting to do. I'll be right back. Um, after I have everything ran through my die cutting machine. Okay, once I have everything die cut, you can see here, we are going to put some things together for our typewriter. First, we have our background and then we have our keypad. Okay, this, these are the little pieces that fit behind the keypad. 
and there's two different styles. I'm going to flip over my keypad. Let's zoom in a little bit. I'm going to use my adhesive, add some adhesive behind here, and then let's see if we can figure out how this goes. I'm going to show you. Basically what you're doing with this one is lining up the notches from the bottom of the keys on the bottom of the keypad. You can see here. So those notches right here all line up. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with our next one. Okay, so there's those keys. We're going to add some more adhesive. We're going to adhere this to our blue background, our cosmic sky, and then our key panel is ready to go. Now I'm going to flip this over. We're going to add some foam squares behind here. And I do have one extra. Let's remove the release paper and then this is going to go on our typewriter. But before we add this to our typewriter, I'm going to do a little shading. I want to add a little color to this and I'm bringing in... I'm going to bring in some frayed burlap and do a little bit of shading. Because I want a little dimension. And this is a great way to add a little dimension to your projects. Just by shading a little bit on the edges. I'm not too worried about the top because that's where our paper will be. So frayed burlap on our, our tin um, silver fox. This is going to go Kind of lining it up left to right. Lovely. So we have a little dimension here. Now we're going to add our birthday. There's an open area here where we can add that. So I'm just going to use my tape runner, add some adhesive, layer my birthday on my background, and then we'll flip this over, add some dimension. And then this is going to go on our typewriter. When you die cut out your typewriter, there is a slit that you can add your paper to. Let me raise this up if I can get it. <laughs> kind of go crooked. Okay, see the, how that opens up? That's where you'd put your paper. Now, we're going to go ahead and add our paper. Now, I want my paper to be kind of at an angle. So we're going to just tack this down. Now we have the little slide bar here and I'm going to use my glue and we'll add that piece. I think it goes there. We'll add a dot of glue, and then this is going to go on the side of our typewriter. That's a good spot. Now, typewriter is done. Now what we're going to do is we have, oh, no, it's not done. We have our little slide bar. I, since I die cut out two for of the background um, for our keys, just for a little added dimension, I'm going to layer them both together. And then we'll add a little glue here on the very bottom. And then we can add our typewriter bar, our dash bar. Hold it down for a bit. Good. And you know, I think I want to take some cardstock and put it behind the happy. So I just trimmed down. I'm just going to trim down a small piece of the blue and then we're going to put this behind our happy. There we go. So typewriter is done. Loving the way this turned out. Now we have our flowers. Let's make some pretty flowers. 
I'm good. Before we add our our waterfall colored flowers, I'm gonna do a little shading. I'm gonna take my faded jeans. Actually, I take that back. I wanna grab peacock feathers. And I'm gonna add a little bit of color on the from the very bottom of our flowers. But for our I did I cut out some white leaves. I'm gonna do a little bit of shading with some peeled paint. I want to add a little bit of color. Um, so let's do a little bit of shading. I don't want to color the whole thing, but I do want to add maybe just a little highlight. Now let's build our flowers. I'm going to create my, my own design of a flower. <laughs> and I'm going to add a dot of glue on the bottom of the white ones. And then I'm going to take my blue and add that just above whoops the white like this some unique looking flowers we'll do that to this all, all three we'll do that too and then we can add our stem I'm only going to add my stem to, I like that you can do both sides I'm only going to add my stems to two of my flowers because one of them is going to be tucked behind my typewriter. So let's add these. Okay, I have a panel. This measures four inches by five and a quarter. And I want to do a little darker shading on top and then I want to kind of fade down. To do that, I'm using my oxide inks. And I'm using, I'm going to start with my tumbled glass and then I'm going to use my blending brush here. And I just want it to kind of fade away in the background. And I chose tumble glass because I think it fades to white really nicely. And I'm just going about halfway. Right. Now I'm going to take my faded jeans, which is my darker blue. And we're going to add some darker color on top. Really kind of intensifying that color. And kind of maybe fading them both together. And I think that looks really nice. This one I just want to add a little color on the very bottom. And kind of fade up. Bringing that teal on the bottom. Okay, once my panel is done, we're going to flip it around and I'm going to add some adhesive behind here. We'll put this on an A2 size card base and I want that teal on the bottom. Lovely. Now we're going to add our typewriter. Let's add some foam squares behind here. Okay, lovely. Now we get to add our beautiful florals. And I'm going to use adhesive behind my green. And I'm going to tuck them inside my typewriter. I love that you could do that. We'll trim off the stem. I'm going to add a small foam square behind our flower for a little dimension. And we're going to tuck this as well. I think that's a good spot. Add one more foam square behind here. Lovely. We'll add some adhesive behind our green. We'll do a little layering. And this flower, again, I'm not going to add any adhesive to. I'm just going to tuck that under there. And then I think I I think I'm good. I don't want to go too bulky, too much, too much florals there. I don't want to obstruct my happy. But and you can put these always on the inside if you wanted to. 
Okay, now I'm going to use my journey glaze and we're going to add a little bit of dimension to the keys. And then let's add a little bit of sparkle with some aquamarine gems. These are so pretty. Let me grab my tool in one. And let's just add a little bit of sparkle. So pretty. Just love these. Okay, well, maybe one more over here. Do a little tucking with that. Good deal. And I just love the way this turned out. So that finishes off my project today, guys, using the Spellbinders large die of the Month Club kit called Typing Class. Thank you so much for joining me. I wish you a lovely day, and we will see you again real soon. Bye.